G'day folks, Michael from Doom and Darkness bringing you another battle report and today I am fighting against Michael the Woody, the Lumberjacks Wood. Now we call him the Lumberjack because he is rocking a corn demon's army and he has been fucking chopping his opponents down like a freaking buzzsaw. So today it is going to be violent, it's going to be a slaughter fest, it's corn demons against corn bloodbound and uh, we are playing blood and glory on a realm of war, I guess, in the corn realm. So we'll go and have a look at the armies and come back after that. All right, folks, let's take a look at my opponent's army. Woody, can you run us through what you have, please? All right, um, starting from this side, I've got a slaughter priest. Um, then I've got a unit of bloodletters, 20 of them there. I've got three bloodthirsters in a blood council. Uh, so that just lets them attack in the hero phase. Um, and if they kill a hero or a monster, the next bloodthirster will get to attack. And they all get to use their command abilities. I've uh, then got another slaughter priest that I have to proxy in over here because I left mine at home. Two more squads of bloodletters, both 20, and a blood crater. Right. And that's it. So those three bloodthirsters are going to be all using their command abilities and they get to attack in the hero phase, is that right? Yep. That sounds dirty. Three units of 20 blood letters, a blood to crater, and two slaughter priests. That is going to be devastating. And uh, folks, on my side of it, well, we're running the Blood Floor Forge and the Gore Pilgrim. So, from left to right, we have one unit of five Wrathmongers, a unit of 10 Blood Warriors, a unit of five Blood Warriors, a unit of unpainted Blood Reavers. I do apologize, but they are sacrificial. You'll see what I mean as we go. In the center here, we have the Gore Chosen, we have the Blood to crater, the skull grinder, the aspiring deathbringer, and two slaughter priests. At the back, five wrathmongers, ten skull reapers, five wrathmongers, and then another ten blood warriors. So um, that's it, folks. I think he's really good at killing, and I'm really good at getting killed. I won the deployment, and I'm going to take the first turn. So we'll come back after that. All right, folks, the end of my turn one, and uh, this is what the board looks like. I haven't moved a lot. I've just really. Uh, I uh, put my buffs up, um, sort of blobbed in around my objectives because I reckon he's going to come across the table pretty hard and fast and uh, hammer me. There's a couple of dead blood reavers because I sacrificed them to my slaughter priest to give myself a blood tithe point and um, that's about it. So uh, we'll go into my opponent's turn one and um, see what happens. It might be bloody. All right, folks, so after turn one movement and hero phase, this is what it looks like. He's moved right up on me. So um, in the hero phase, he uses his uh, command abilities. Uh, this Bloodthirster in the middle lets everything within eight inches re-roll their charge rolls. And then the two Bloodthirsters on the outside pick one unit to be able to run and charge. So this Bloodthirster picked himself to be able to run and charge, and he's also re-rolling his charge distance. And then uh, this Bloodthirster picked those uh, blood letters out on the right hand side to run and charge as well. So he has moved right up on me and um, uh, we'll go into the charge. I don't know if he's gonna charge. I hope he's gonna charge, but um, we'll come back after turn two. All right, folks, so uh, after combat, this is what it looks like. He charged him with the Bloodthirster and with his blood letters and um, killed, well, he did eight wounds total killed four blood warriors, but um, just through the attack of the blood first, at first, I could then pile in with my uh, blood warriors and attack, and then he attacked, and then for everything I died, got to attack again. So I did two wounds to his blood thirster and killed all of those blood letters, which was really quite, quite cool. So I kind of came out of that on top, I think, but uh, he might back to back me on the initiative. So we're gonna roll for initiative now, and uh, see how we go. He gets a four, I get a four, reroll. Oh God, he got a one. I got a five. It's right, me. folks, so after my turn, much is the same. I didn't get any spells off with my Slaughter Priest, which was unfortunate, and I've just shuffled around here in the middle. So, moved my Wrathmongers a little bit more up to the front, um, positioned my heroes hopefully a little bit better, moved the Blood Reapers across a little bit to the right, and then moved these Wrathmongers in ready to charge on that Bloodthirster. Um, we'll just go into the charge and then combat, and we'll come back up. Right, folks, so after this combat, this is what it looks like. The uh, uh, Bloodthirster went in, attacked the Blood Warriors, killed a bunch of them. They then piled in, killed a bunch of the, the Blood Letters, and then it was my turn to initiate. And uh, my champion there, the Gore Glade, went in there and killed the rest of them. The Wrathmongers managed to put six wounds onto the Bloodthirster as well. And now we've gone into my opponent's turn two. Okay, folks, so my opponent's turn two, and um, this is the big news. So he piled in in the hero phase with 
this bloodthirster and kill my freaking wrathmongers so I don't get a chance to pile back in and attack, which is, uh, or sorry, take control of this bloodthirster and make him kill himself. That's a shame. And apart from that, everything else is moving up. And once again, everything else is charging and running and charging and running and adding one to its charging and running more. So this is probably where the biggest world of hurt's gonna be. I think those blood letters and two bloodthirsters are gonna just sandwich the fuck out of my troops over here, um, which will be a real shame. But uh, we'll come back after everything else and see what the board looks like. Folks, it is on like Donkey Kong, and this is the coolest shit you've ever seen. This is the Hot Gates. Blood Warriors getting charged by a Bloodthirster, a big D Bloodthirster, and Blood Letters. And then over here, the other Bloodthirster has come in on the flank as well. So we're gonna go into combat, and like I said, it is gonna be violent and bloody. Uh, we'll come back after that. Folks, so turn two combat, and it is a bloody slaughter on the bridge. So what happened, the, uh, the D Bloodthirster went first and first, thir first, yeah, first, and did about 13 wounds to my Blood Warriors. Um, and he rolled a six to wound as well. So he did a blood explosion, which radiated out and killed some Reavers, killed another Blood Warrior over here, um, killed a Wrathmonger, and uh, yeah, did quite a lot of damage. I piled back in and attacked. I only got three wounds onto the D Bloodthirster. That's better than nothing and couldn't actually wound the blood letters with my pylon attack, so that was a shame. Um, at the end of the combat, after everything had attacked over here, I killed four blood letters and three wounds on the D Bloodthirster, and he killed, well, nine blood warriors. Um, over here, he did manage to kill one of my Skull Reapers with uh, all his shooting or, or something, I don't know what it was, but um, I did manage to finish him off as well. So we're gonna go into the initiative, turn three initiative. And um, yeah, fuck, I hope I don't lose this. Four, two. All right, folks, so my opponent's turn three hero phase, um, it was pretty violent for me. So the D Bloodthirster attacked in the hero phase and um, killed this guy, which then caused an explosion, hit everything within eight inches and did like three wounds to all of that. So I lost a few more Blood Warriors and Blood Reavers. Um, Wrathmongers and then his other Bloodthirster shooting with the flail and the hell breath um, did a ton more wounds so I've only got that one um, Wrathmonger hanging on and uh, he's not gonna last uh, apart from that everything else looks like this so blood letters are moving up um, blood to crater on the outside of the board and um, we're just gonna go into my opponent's charge so let's see what back-to-back -back corn demon charges can do all right folks you will not freaking believe what just happened. Let's just take a look at the carnage on the table. So, well, what happened is um, he charged in, you know, Bloodletters into the Wrathmonger and then Bloodthirsters into sort of my hero group that was over here. The big thing that happened was that the D Bloodthirster rolled two sixes to wound, is it? Yep. Two, two sixes to wound, which means every enemy unit within eight inches of him took six mortal wounds. That killed every single one of my heroes. My Skull Grinder, my Aspiring Deathbringer, both my Slaughter Priest, my Blood Secreta, the Unit of Reavers, and that last Wrathmonger all got killed by the blood explosion that came out. And that's just absolutely devastated me because the whole plan in this phase was to have my Skull Grinder run in with his nine attacks and just poleaxe fucking Bloodthirsters left, right, and center. But that's not going to happen now, so I am royally up shit creek. This is all I've got left. We're going to go into my turn and. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll come back after that. Alright folks, at the end of my turn three, well, it's, it's, it's not looking any better, I don't think so. Um, I used my Blood Tithe points to get the Skull Reapers to run in the Euro Face, or sorry, move, and then got the charge on those two Bloodthirsters. I know it's kind of suicidal, but it's all I've got left, and I retreated those Wrathmongers out of combat. So, um, we went in there, I did, uh, well, ten wounds total on, um, on the Wrath of Corn Bloodthirster and nothing on the D one. So um, he killed four of my guys back, uh, and this is what it looks like as we go into turn four initiative. I hope we get a six. Six, that's me. All right, folks, so my turn four combat, and uh, this is what it looks like afterwards. So um, Skull Reapers just continue to fight the Bloodthirsters, and I killed one of them and put um, another, I think, two wounds onto the D-Thirster. Um, D-Thirster actually whiffed, fighting me back, so the Skull Reapers are still intact, but um, two Wrathmongers against the Bloodletters 
I uh, didn't kill very many at all and I lost one. So we're going into my opponent's turn four now and uh, we'll come back after that. All right, folks, and that is it. So my opponent's hero phase, he used his blood tithe points to make his D bloodthirster pile an attack. That did one round of devastating damage to my skull reapers and then he used his ability from his battalion to do it again. So he piled in and attacked twice in the hero phase and obliterated my skull reapers. I couldn't uh, do my murderous to the last on him because that only works in the combat phase. And um, yeah, he murdered him. Part of that was also he rolled a six to wound, which meant the blood explosion happened, which killed my last Wrathmonger. So that's it, folks. That's the end of the game. An absolute corn slaughter fest and uh, corn demons are victorious. That, um, that guy with the big axe is devastating, I have to say. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the report, and uh, we're going to have a rematch. All right, see you later.